hello everyone welcome once again to investing with the difference so today again we are going to cover a lot of uh, things which are happening in eos ecosystem uh, and also we'll have a look at the markets we have not done that for some time uh, beyond eos i think uh, as you know there are a lot of sister chain activity happening in verbly telos so we are going to talk about all of that but first of all let's have a quick look at the market so as you know that uh, we did see some volatility a few days back uh, when the tether was uh, in question i think a lot of of uh, people got panicked and uh, there was a big movement in crypto prices especially the bitcoin price jumped ever since then i think we have come come back and uh, kind of settled in the same zone where we were and the volatility is very very low so this is a daily chart so last few days i am talking about almost uh, up to 10 days uh, we have kind of settled again in the zone where uh, we were and if you look at it this is one of the more least volatile zone uh, in the crypto market in the bitcoin market and uh, that is where we are seeing today uh, let's look at uh, the price of uh, EOS and it's a very similar pattern. We can say that uh, we are kind of stable around uh, five and a half dollar mark. Um, in fact, uh, we have not uh, been as volatile as we have been a few months back. So overall, um, the reason it's even more important is because uh, uh, if we go back to Bitcoin uh, and the overall market cap, I would say that uh, the stock market in last couple of days has been very volatile. In fact, uh, there was a lot of money which was lost uh, in the stock market, in the tech stocks, and there was a feeling that everybody was worried about uh, that uh, crypto markets will also follow and uh, they are correlated because when people start losing confidence, uh, they actually end up selling everywhere. Uh, so it's a great relief for a lot of people who are looking at the stock market, who are worried about uh, how the crypto will behave and you are seeing hardly any movement, uh, which is a good sign. I would say uh, that we are kind of getting correlated, uh, not correlated and we are actually independently looking at where we are. Uh, there are a lot of great, uh, I think, positive news which people are expecting on the Bitcoin front. There are a lot of activity happening, uh, but I think uh, this is where uh, we should expect new money flowing as people have been talking about. Uh, but at this moment, I would say the volumes are low. The price movement is very, very limited. So let's now look at uh, what's really going on. Uh, in the EOS IO ecosystem so we'll first start with Telos I think a uh, lot of people have been waiting for this uh, so they uh, it looks like they are uh, big, uh, October 30th or end of the month basically and the 1st November are becoming very critical date both Telos and Verbally are expecting to launch so just a few things which they updated on their medium post and it's uh, good to understand because once you are getting close to the launch you need to understand what's going to happen uh, so what they're talking about is uh, uh, that this launch will be followed by so they're aiming to launch on october 31st and then they call something like activation so basically launch does not mean that you can move the token around the it is very similar to eos where after the launch there has to be a voting and you need to activate the network uh, so instead of uh, a certain fixed number of votes, they have chosen to automatically activate after 5.8 days. That is 1 million block. And that's when you will be starting to move your tokens. Uh, but before that, of course, you can vote and uh, you can select uh, the top block producers in uh, Telos network. Uh, what else you need to understand is that, uh, as you all know, that the uh, number of tokens you will get if you have less than 40,000 EOS on the Genesis snapshot, that is on June 2nd, uh, you will be getting 1 is to 1, and uh, that would mean that you will have more tokens than um, uh, in terms of proportion, in terms of percentage of the chain, because a lot of big whales are not going to get more than 40,000 uh, Telos. Then um, other thing which you need to understand is there will be new projects coming in and there will be snapshots taken on Telos also just like we have on EOS and they have said that uh, they will have a create they will create a new snapshot and they are recommending using uh, 6 million block uh, mark uh, for people to start uh, airdropping so that will be after 29 days so you will have a chance to accumulate Telos if you believe in the chain if you believe that uh, more dApps uh, will be valuable on Telos. Uh, you can uh, wait f and accumulate um, so they are actually giving a chance for whales to come in I would say because uh, 
um, right now they are limited at 40,000 so this is going to maybe it will be interesting to see the price how it moves with the limited supply with the lesser number of tokens uh, available from uh, big uh, whales uh, maybe it can be it can help the token price uh, so these are the some things you need to know how to get the tokens uh, you need to download their wallet so basically this is not a airdrop on EOS because it's a totally different chain you need to understand this very clearly this is not a EOS mainnet uh, so they cannot give you tokens on EOS mainnet what you need to do is you need to go to their uh, website uh, there is telosfoundation.io slash downloads and you can download the wallet it is very similar to Grimas wallet because they have used it um, that as a, a reference code they have forked that wallet and made changes to that and you need to use your keys which are genesis account keys so if you have not changed your keys for the recent uh, uh, account activity um, you may want to consider that or move your actually your tokens out just for your safety even though they are reasonably uh, credible people because these are eos block producers and we already know the team uh, but still i would not recommend you uh, if you have not changed your keys uh, to enter into squirrel wallet which is not a eos mainnet wallet and uh, i would still recommend you to change your keys uh, so that for the actual mainnet tokens uh, you can still have the control after entering the keys into squirrel wallet uh, so this is uh, going to be a little complex we will cover it once uh, it is available to claim um, uh, how to do that and how to really safely do it uh, but uh, just remember that you will have to use your private keys to claim uh, these tokens now so now as i said this is november 1st around end of october that's when uh, this is going to happen and uh, same thing verbally so verbally is uh, launching on november 1st again uh, as it happened these are kind of converging both the chains both the sister chains uh, are launching at the same time it seems and they announced uh, how to create your account but before that they also shared the information that they already have 21 assigned block producers so these are that you don't need to vote for it you need to understand verbally is a more of a permission chain and it is not a fully decentralized like anybody cannot go and become block producer for them uh, this they have done it for certain reasons because they are looking for a compliant chain and looking to control uh, in the initial days so and in future they have a roadmap to become decentralized at some point but they do have 11 reserve block producers they are signing up more and more people so what is uh, uh, the detail on it i think we already covered it previously you, if the snapshot was not the genesis one they took a 7th september snapshot so if you uh, had uh, the tokens in your account you can go claim it uh, you will be able to claim it only after November 1st when the chain is launched and uh, they are asking you to at least provide your email and verify your email as a very basic KYC uh, and that will allow you to claim 70% of your tokens and the 30% more you can claim only when you do full KYC with them. Uh, those details are still going to be available later but uh, how to claim they are claiming that the, all this information will be available on verbly.io now verbly token was on pre-sale recently and they sold it at two cents per token so let's see how it does once it launches um, but i think uh, uh, based on the eos price of five and a half dollar uh, i think uh, around 7th september it was similar price around five dollars um, so it's a, it's a not a huge bump not a huge thing in terms of the airdrop itself the price of the airdrop if we consider the pre-sale price to be two cents but uh, if you believe in the chain i think uh, we will share more details once it is available um, you will you can actually set up a new username it in verbally chain uh, one more thing which we are not clear is uh, can a single email have multiple EOS accounts because as we all know many people had multiple EOS accounts can they claim using a single email and we will clarify it with the Verbly team and let you know uh, but again as I said this uh, date 1st November is becoming very critical for both the sister chains and uh, both of them seems to be launching right uh, around that same time and we will all watch uh, how this uh, sister chains do because these are going to be the first uh, real uh, forks of the software EOSIO software uh, which uh, we expect more and more to come in in future and it's great that they are at least sharing the tokens with the existing EOS token holders and uh, it will be interesting if uh, these become uh, really good in terms of the value in terms of how they do uh, in the market now what else is happening in EOS world I think one of the big 
things which we read and which we hear from Yos Nation, Daniel Keyes, he has updated that uh, the, uh, the referendum tool which we have been waiting for is very close to public beta. So that again, interestingly, everything is happening around the same time. So they are again claiming that the next uh, go no go vote is on October 30th and they are very confident that uh, it's going very close to launch. Uh, so this is going to be a good tool because they are trying to integrate everything into a single place. You can vote, you can uh, uh, ref vote on referendums, worker proposals and proxy, you can assign proxies and so on. So it's going to be an interesting thing. I think we do need um, better and better tools and especially around the voting uh, and this will be, uh, referendum tools will be very critical because uh, we can make big changes to EOS and uh, how this will perform. Uh, in terms of the policies, in terms of uh, some of the things which uh, people really want to change in constitution uh, and so on. So this is uh, a good progress and I think uh, let us see how it uh, comes out. I hope that uh, more and more people participate once this comes out. Uh, another thing which was published which I would like to highlight, I think everybody knows about it that EOS uh, but General EOS had done some analysis, uh, actual comparisons between uh, EOS and uh, the proof of work cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, I think we all are aware that EOS has been one of the most efficient chain in terms of power because it's using delegated proof of stake. It's not using proof of work which uh, relies on the complexity uh, of operations. And um, I think uh, the but it's good to see these numbers, good to see actually how it stands in terms of uh, what are the real con power consumptions for Ethereum. It's not a great thing. I think uh, DPoS is the future as I believe and uh, this is just uh, a good uh, a good way to put it in. So this is a good graphical pre representation of uh, what it takes uh, annually to generate. And as you all know, EOS is generating more transactions and more uh, dApps are able to use it than anything else. So this is a huge, huge uh, deal when uh, actually we are s consuming so less energy while we are able to run, run so many operations. Finally, one more news which was uh, about Chintai. I think they are up and running now again. And uh, what they people were worried about is uh, while they are leasing their tokens, they transfer the tokens out of their uh, accounts. And as you know, we talked about in our previous video, there's a higher vibes airdrop happening. And the snapshot is on November 4th or November 5th, I believe. It's actually November 5th. And uh, this is uh, one thing which Chintai clarified that uh, they will be transferring uh, the airdrop to the original owners because they are just a platform uh, for leasing tokens. So that is a great sign. I think uh, these are the kind of things which people uh, really need confidence in these platforms. And um, I think uh, Chintai is saying that uh, they are going to continue to help uh, transfer this kind of airdrops uh, to the rightful owners who are leasing the tokens uh, and not to the people or not to the platform itself because they are keeping the custody of uh, your tokens similar to exchanges i think if a lot of exchanges try to give you i think some don't uh, so it will be interesting how that plays out uh, finally i think uh, eos hackathon is gaining a lot of momentum i hope uh, people who are interested have already start booked their tickets because in london the eos hackathon tickets had uh, kind of uh, sold out and uh, Dan Larimer is again going to be the judge, which is a great news. I hope that uh, uh, he is one of the key attraction because as we all know that he is a key architect and not only that, he's uh, the visionary whom all of us followed and uh, believed in EOS. And uh, uh, his presence always attracts more and more, uh, more uh, people uh, in terms of uh, how uh, they participate and they uh, really join this kind of uh, events. Um, so do uh, confirm your tickets as soon as possible and of course the scaling blockchain which we are doing on November 12th. Uh, I hope that uh, people are already buying tickets and again as today we are talking about November 1st and end of this month being critical dates. I Let me remind you that the early bird tickets for scaling blockchain also are ending on that date and uh, so take an action, buy the tickets now uh, before uh, the prices go up and uh, we have some exciting exciting stuff planned for the scaling blockchain event we have a lot of great speakers 
and it's only 16 days from now i think uh, we have some amazing stuff coming so do join us um, we are also doing some demonstration of eos technologies i already talked about uh, um, the vr game which was announced by your soul uh, then we have uh, uh, the stuff coming from a uh, lot of other block producers not just the and dapps like uh, boyd like uh, uh, eva which is the ride sharing service which is launching very soon and uh, we will have verbly we will have telos folks we will have the whole ecosystem not just the eos mainnet and we have airdrops that actually which is actually helping i hire vibes do the airdrop on november 5th they are going to be launching their services to the public to and announcing more details about uh the great innovation happening in eos world um we will have eos aloha talking about performance we will have lumios um and sense chat carmel a lot of apps are coming and uh, showcasing eos uh, technology so do come and join us and uh, take part in this festival which we are trying to host as a mainly a networking activity and making sure that more and more people uh get to experience eos get to learn about the technology and not uh, just uh, um, yeah, look at it as one of the other tokens because ultimately i think what hackathon is trying to do what our conference at scaling blockchain we are trying to do is uh, have more people participate and uh, build better future so thanks once again everyone for joining in this video i think a lot of great updates a lot of uh, progress beyond eos i think telos verbally are uh i think we should all support the bigger and bigger ecosystem because ultimately it's all about bringing more people in uh who need maybe a different kind of a chain or maybe different kind of uh, consensus and different kind of uh, kyc norms like what verbly is doing and if you want to meet all of them do join us at scaling blockchain on november 12th um so hope to see a lot of you at the conference and hope to see everybody participating in uh, these kind of activities and do send us your feedback let us know if you have any other questions and i hope that uh, you have a great weekend and uh, keep aware of how you can benefit from eos uh, with all these air drops with all the sister chains and what not so thank you bye bye and have a good time